Mirrored Shipwreck. Item number, SCP-2319. Object class, safe. Special Containment Procedures Due to its depth and historical lack of governmental or commercial interest in its location, SCP-2319's containment is considered de facto. In order to maintain this perpetuity, an international cordon has been established around SCP-2319. At this time, the Foundation does not agree on the long-term survivability of SCP-2319. Based on degradation caused by the hostile environment surrounding it, it is assumed that SCP-2319 will continue to deteriorate. It is unclear if such deterioration will reduce the current anomalous properties. Description: SCP-2319 is the location and contents of a shipwreck off the southern coast of Australia. Its specific coordinates are latitude, negative 39.458127 degrees, longitude, 132.424794 degrees. The wreckage and materials recovered appear to be identical, with one significant difference, see below, to the wreckage of the RMS Titanic, which sank on April 15th, 1912. All materials returned from SCP-2319's wreckage have been dated to specifications that would have been in use in 1912, with the exception of one item, see addendum. All damage slash deterioration of SCP-2319 is consistent with 100 blank. SCP-2319 was discovered by outside sources on October 7th blank, and contained by the Foundation three weeks later under the guise of a low-level ecological disaster. Maps and seabed scans in the historical record show no reported claims of shipwreck and slash or corresponding seabed disruption prior to the discovery of SCP-2319. Compared to the wreckage of the Titanic, SCP-2319 is mirrored along the longitudinal axis. Existing maps of the Titanic, once flipped east slash west, are identical to SCP-2319 in all major landmarks. Footnote. For example, the Titanic's bow points broadly northeast, with the aft section south, with a large debris field to the east. In SCP-2319's case, the bow points broadly northwest, with the large debris field west of the aft wreckage. The current surface terrain surrounding SCP-2319 is as identical to the ones found at the current Titanic wreckage location, if also mirrored. All written text in the wreck is also mirrored, e.g. The archboard reads, Senatit SMR. This includes more contemporary commemorative plaques. The only other noticeable difference between SCP-2319 and the remains of the Titanic is the remaining paintworks on the hull indicate that instead of a red underside, SCP-2319's lower hull coloring is green. As with the Titanic wreckage, a unique ecosystem of anemones, crabs, shrimp, starfish, and rat tail thrives within the wreckage of SCP-2319. As of this writing, all attempts at bringing samples of the fauna to the surface for further study have failed. As all samples die within 2.1 to 3.2 kilometers of SCP-2319. Footnote: Initial findings sent that the creatures have died inexplicably of asphyxiation despite being stored in waters directly from SCP-2319. Examination of the remains of creatures recovered from SCP-2319 show varying degrees of situs transversus. Polarimetry results of recovered organic materials show similar mirroring of D-L chiralities. X-ray crystallography confirmed an abundance of L-sugars and D-amino acids in the samples. Addendum SCP-2319-A Originally deemed an aberrant system malfunction, Reports of submersible navigation issues have become more consistent while exploring SCP-2319. Pilots report random moments where commands to move to port result in starboard motion. Complete repair of MROVs has not and does not solve the issues. Addendum SCP-2319-B Foundation experts studying artifacts recovered from SCP-2319 
have reported increased feelings of nausea and disorientation from midterm exposure to all artifacts. The effect is described as disorienting, but not incapacitating. As of blank, all teams studying artifacts for upwards of 8 hours a day are required to spend 24 hours away from all SCP-2319 born materials. Addendum SCP-2319-C A recent exploration of SCP-2319 has revealed a unique artifact, dubbed SCP-2319-2. Buried under a bulkhead with debris and weathering corresponding to 100 years of sediment, was a contemporary airtight safe, containing a clear plastic plate with the following phrases etched onto it. Retainment Unsuccessful of Sekusnu Dimensional Plastiadic Antenelba, you were so, all those we failed, Suevigroff. So 